Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all a bunch of my absolute favorite products from Kosas. These products are essentially like holy grails in most cases. So some of these you guys have definitely heard before, but I also wanted to sprinkle in a couple of their newer launches that I've been really enjoying. Kosas is sponsoring today's video because they have their summer sale happening right now. It's 20% off site-wide now when you're watching through the 20th and it's always nice to get a little money knocked off so i thought i would just give you guys all of my recommendations like my absolute favorite products from kosas as a sort of guide i'm excited because i think a lot of you guys know how much i really enjoy a lot of their products let's get into reviews i am going to be giving you demos of all these products of course I think I want to first start off with one of their newer launches and then we'll get into some of like my holy grail picks. So this is one of their new lip products. It is the Wet Stick Moisturizing Sheer Shiny Lipstick with Ceramides. So I have the shade Tropical Bliss on my lips today. They come in so many different shades, but, but you know, any kind of rosy shade I typically am a big fan of. They just tend to look like my lips but better. And that is the best way I can think to describe this. It really isn't as glossy as I was expecting. It almost has a second skin feel on the lips. I really enjoy the sheerness of it while it's still having like a nice slip. It makes for just a really easy product to apply to reapply and with a sheer lip product you know a lot of us do like to reapply. Something I really like is it kind of feels like a lip balm meets a lip stain. The lips really drink it up and it you're just, again, you're left with this really pretty sheer color. I think the shade selection is kind of bomb. Personally, I want to check out Sunset Simmer because if you guys know me, you know I really like these kind of like terracotta shades. For summer, they just look really, really beautiful with a tan. So in general, I did want to call out this newer launch from them. You can definitely build it up like I am, but just in general, like, a very effortless kind of lip product. So very in line with, I think, a lot of Kosos products. Now, before we get into my top favorite Kosos product, essentially, I think the product that kind of changed concealer for me forever, and I'm very much not just saying that because they're sponsoring. I mean, you guys, <laughs> if you're new to my channel, you don't know, but I kind of incessantly talk about it. But I still think that the Kosos Revealer Foundation is one of the best foundations on the market. It is what I'm wearing on my skin today. For those of you that like coverage but don't want the skin texture and the quality of the skin, the way it looks under light, the way it feels, if you don't want any of that to be compromised but you do like coverage, I just feel like you cannot beat this. One thing that I will say before we get into like the texture, the way it looks on the skin, my skin always feels better when I am wearing this. It just feels like it hydrates the skin as I continue to wear it. It doesn't necessarily dry out and crackle off. I don't necessarily like the feeling of my makeup making my skin feel unhappy, if you know what I mean. But anyway, so this is one of those foundations that just gives you this beautiful creamy effect the medium coverage really doesn't translate as looking like a lot of coverage on the skin which tends to be like uh, what makes a holy grail product for me when it comes to complexion uh kosas i mean spoiler alert kosas does complexion really well because i just notice there's a lot of balance within the different items so again good amount of coverage, good medium coverage, but looks plump on the skin and just has this general freshness that I have always appreciated about this product. Also, it has a really lovely blur as well without it, again, looking like a high coverage airbrush blurring foundation. So it just, it really checks a lot of the boxes for me. And it's one of those foundations. I think we all have these kind of makeup products, um, especially me when I'm trying out so much makeup. 
If I have a certain scenario where I need my makeup to look good, this is definitely one of the first foundations that I reach for. So it's kind of that, that comfort zone, you know it's always going to look good makeup. And the Revealer Foundation is certainly one of those products for me. And of course, the Kosas Revealer Concealer. For those of you that don't know my spiel about this product, the reason I've loved it so much is that I genetically have more deep set under eyes. I have just in general hollowness. I don't have a ton of darkness, but what happens with a lot of concealers that I use, especially if I want some with some coverage, even if I'm getting the coverage I want, it can actually make my under eyes look more hollow and then in a sense, make them look darker. So what I look for in a concealer is a concealer that's able to kind of reflect light in a way that makes the hollowness under my eyes look less apparent. It brightens the under eyes with coverage, but also the formula itself has to kind of smooth out that hollow and make it less noticeable. So I'm telling you, you guys, since probably the age of 15, 15 is when I started to really um, become aware of the darkness under my eyes. Like I was always feeling like I looked tired. So again, at 15, I'm, I'm getting like, at 15, I was probably getting 10 hours of sleep a day. I have tried so many concealers up to this point, And this is just, it's just the best one that I have used. It is hydrating. It has great medium coverage. So it's not going to crackle off and look dry under the eyes, which is, just not something like, I would rather not wear concealer than my under eyes look crackly. Or you know how some concealers, like they give good coverage, but you're left with like this alligator skin under your eyes? As someone with darkness, but also dryness, that's something that I've like really dealt with, but this never does. And honestly, there are times when I do my entire makeup and I'm like, I just feel like something's missing. I take a little extra concealer, a little Kosas under the eyes and I'm like, oh, that's what it was. Just need a little brightening. So I'm telling you, if you have hollowness under the eyes, if you have mature skin and you find that uh, concealers just really dry out your under eyes, um, in general, if you just prefer a medium coverage that is also very hydrating, I don't think that you can go wrong. It's, it's just my fave. I, I don't think favorite even truly encapsulates like the love affair I have with this one. Another really great example of just a makeup item that has a great balance as far as Kosas complexion goes, it's the cloud set. The cloud set is so perfect for those of you that like to set your face or you know pinpoint powder the face. I prefer pinpoint powdering rather than all over, but it's essentially a powder for people that really do not like a heavy powder. It is so lightweight. It has more of like this baked formula. And when it goes onto the skin, it's just like, you know, that kind of whisper of powder, that whisper of setting, but it doesn't look like you've powdered your skin necessarily. I want you guys to check out this demo because I feel like it just really encapsulates the way the powder actually performs. My look was definitely glowier, love a good glow, but when I took it down a notch with the powder, my skin right now even, it still looks nice and fresh, but but again, just has that soft blur and just that very soft setting quality that I think, you know, especially in the summer, I tend to use setting powders more so in the summer just for longevity purposes. This is going to give you that without you having to be worried about your skin looking dry, the overall makeup starting to look cakey and heavy. Because it's just so lightweight, it's one of those powders that I've been reaching for a lot. And something else that I'm weird about with under my eyes is that a lot of powders, when I set my under eyes, I feel like my under eyes look darker. Um, and this is one of the only powders that does not do that. So if you're also looking for a good combo, the Kosas Revealer, and then using the cloud set under the eyes. It's hydrated, it's bright, but you can also very lightly set it and it doesn't look crumbly, which, whew. There are a lot of powders that look crumbly on me and it just, it, it's one of those pet peeves I have with makeup. Gotta love a powder that just does not look powdery. Next up, their Dream Beam is a newer launch. I have already talked about this before on my channel. It's a completely mineral sunscreen. And I find that, I, I just wanna throw it out there. If you're someone 
that loves a mineral sunscreen specifically and you love those kind of glow lotion items for under makeup, this to me works beautifully as a primer because it offers this overall glow and just a general almost like evening out of the skin tone. It does have, you know, a touch of a tint. You can see it does have like a little bit of a tint, but when you go and blend it out onto the skin, it just kind of leaves this really pretty effect that, again, it's not shimmery on the skin whatsoever, but it almost makes you look just more uh, fresh and refined. There's also peptides and ceramides in here as well. And in general, um, there are other products like this that I just am not a fan of, but this one is good for sensitive skin because it is mineral. So if you're someone that's worried about like stinging around the eyes, if you just in general have sensitive skin and you tend to lean towards mineral sunscreens, I think that this is a really great one. I'm wearing it under my makeup today. And again, it just kind of just gives me this overall fresh look. It just looks like a primer to me, like a glowy primer, which is great because I mean, with uh, sunscreens, I feel like from a cosmetic elegance standpoint, you just never know what you're gonna get. And I do feel like this has great uh, elegance on the skin. And in general, I just feel like I look fresher when I have it on. Like if I don't even wanna put on makeup, I can just put that on. And again, still in the skincare realm, the Plump and Juicy from Kosas. I bought this a while ago and I have personally found that like as a prep spray for my makeup, this does such an incredible job of just getting my skin ready to receive makeup. Like it just offers this immediate plump effect. My skin looks more hydrated. I'm not worrying about my makeup like settling into any fine lines or general textured areas. It just does a great job of kind of plumping everything up, making the skin look a little bit fresher. So it's great for under makeup, but I really like it over top of makeup as well. I feel like it just imparts this glow back to my skin. It has uh, peptides as well as collagen. I have often found that peptides do a really good job of kind of leaving your skin with that bouncy feel and look, and this definitely does that. So if you're someone that kind of wants an all-in-one like prep product as well as a product to kind of make everything melt back into the skin, like towards the end of your routine, this is a great one. The bottle's glass, it's really beautiful, and also the mist is incredibly fine. Also, if you're someone that like, you need to get like skincare done fast, um, this is a great, it's a serum mist, so it doesn't necessarily just function as a makeup product, you know what I mean? Um, and I really like that Kosas does that. For example, um, the Kosas Revealer Concealer has caffeine, so I've always felt like when my eyes were feeling or looking a little bit puffy, this has helped to make them look a little bit less puffy. So I love that Kosas also includes um, ingredients that really help the skin long term. And like I said, when I use the Revealer foundation, I feel like my skin likes it more than some of my other foundations. So those are all my top Kosas favorites. You guys, I've pretty much tried everything. So if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. Again, the sale is 20% off everything through the 20th. I will leave um, a link down below. If you wanna help support my channel, definitely make sure to use it. I really, truly appreciate it. Thank you guys again so much for being here and I will see you in my next one.